Not too long ago, a group of migrant workers in Miami, Florida, got together to express some concerns about what Governor Ron DeSantis is trying to do to them. Now, at first you'll see it in Spanish, and then you'll hear the translation of what they were saying. Check it out. El gobernador de Florida, DeSantis, está promoviendo una ley que trabajar sin papeles sea una felonía y que todas las compañías o empleadores tienen que utilizar el E-Verify. O sea, va a ser imposible a los que no tenemos papeles trabajar. O sea, básicamente imposible. No vamos a poder trabajar. Entonces me gustaría que el compa mande unos 300 personas aquí de ojos blanquitos. Ciudadanos, pues todos ciudadanos que vengan a colgar chirro, a hacer el frame, colgar los ductos, a hacer electricidad. Todo. Y que mande también ese montón de gente allá para el campo. A la agricultura. Van a cosechar a ver si es cierto van a poder hacer el trabajo que hacemos nosotros los inmigrantes en este país que ellos solitos quieren ir a la quiebra no sé qué tienen en la cabeza so that happened in a construction site in Miami yesterday so I'm going to translate it for you what the guy was saying is that the governor of Florida DeSantis is pushing a law to make it a felony um, to work without papers and that they are holding companies and employers to a system to check those papers and he's saying it's going to be impossible for them to work without papers. Impossible. And what he's requesting is that, do you have 300 people, 300 white people, 300 citizen white people to do sheetrock, framing, electricity, conduits, everything? And also, are these people available to go to the camps for agriculture? He wants to see how true it is that they are able to do the work that they do. And then he says, he don't know what's going on in their heads. Me neither. This is what's happening in the state of Florida. I say no lies. You guys have a blessed day. So yes, they were talking about what Ron DeSantis is trying to do. He is basically holding companies and employers accountable for hiring people who should not be here. So immigrants without the proper paperwork. And so the gentleman that was speaking was basically saying, where are they gonna find 300 white people to do what we do, whether it's in construction or in agriculture? And you know what? I agree with them. We know white people ain't trying to do that, but the thing that I took away from that video, cause let's just keep it real, right? They're wrong for being over here without proper documentation. It just is what it is, right? However, in all of their wrongness, they are bold enough to stand there and challenge the governor and say, well, who are you going to get to do this work if it ain't us, right? So the other thing I took away from that is, look how they are willing to organize and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ron DeSantis, even though they really probably shouldn't be over here, right? And so I'm like, why can't we as black people do that? They, being white supremacy, organize against us on a daily basis and we fight amongst each other instead of saying, all right, you know what, let's come together and see what we can do, specifically during campaign season. We know that the 2024 election is coming up for the presidential race and guess what? The Democratic Party will completely expect for black people to show up even though they have done nothing for us specifically, even though Joe Biden says, well, black people, you stood by me and I'm going to stand by you and he hasn't done it yet, right? But look at those Hispanics. They're like, we know we ain't supposed to be over here, but we know we got the power, right? Black people, we have the power too. We have the power to shut them down if we stop voting for oppression, if we stop spending with oppression and we organize just like they did, right? So I don't know, y'all tell me what you think of that. I'm kind of inspired by it. So for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace.